This is Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today I'm going to upgrade the batteries and the power system on the Jetson bot. So the first thing we do is pop off the platforms. See how this goes. First unplug the create base from the platform. and set it aside. It looks so naked. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Take off the battery cover. Here's the NIM battery pack, NI-MH, made in China. It's 14.4 volts, 3000 milliamp hours. We're going to replace that with a lithium battery. This one's made in Taiwan. Here's the instruction manual. Please refer to the iRobot Roomba manual for battery installation. Please charge the battery for eight hours before the first use. Batteries are designed with a sleep mode, which deactivates the battery after a period of inactivity. Due to lithium power's long-lasting lithium technology, battery light signal values have changed. So it thinks it can run for about four hours. A cleaning cycle for the Roomba is in about an hour or so. Looks like we can get another hour and a half out of it, maybe, compared to the old one. So this is the lithium, this is the nickel metal hydride battery. The nickel metal hydride battery feels a lot heavier than the lithium one, even though this has a higher capacity. Another advantage of the lithium is that it doesn't discharge spontaneously at the same rate as the nickel batteries do. You'll lose about 20% of your charge if you just let it sit there overnight. Uh, these don't bleed off as fast. These are a little bit more volatile so that's one of the drawbacks, but if we can pick up another hour or two of wandering capabilities on the Jetson bot, I say let's go for it. So let's throw this in here. Oh, it sounds happy. Put the cover back on. These are the charging terminals. Guess 
we should look at taking out the vacuum motors and all that. We'll do that another day. Put the cover back on. And we're ready to put the platform back on. Okay, snap, snap, snap. And plug the Create Base back in. And take it off to its charging base.